Because I love collecting the magnets that are inside the hard drives, the other day I was working somewhere and I asked the IT guy if he had any drives he wanted to throw out. Well, he gave me a whole bunch. And I noticed, in particular, these four had interesting damage to them. Uh, somebody had drilled into the boards. Uh, I have one here where they drilled through the top of the case. And so I thought to myself, well, I know why they did that. In case somebody gets hold of the drive, they can't use the controller anymore to access the media. Of course, I could just install this controller. Anyway, I was curious if some of these efforts were paying off in rendering these uh, drives useless. So I'm going to pop this one open in particular because he drilled into that case to see if uh, the disc is damaged or if it's still uh, in what might be pristine shape. Now I might end up damaging the platters. <laughs> trying to open this, but I just want to sort of prove a point here that there are better ways of protecting your data than trying to use a power drill. Okay, so what do we have here? We have the drive, the amateur, the magnet, which I'm here to harvest, but you see how when they drilled, he got through the he got through the metal, right? And then he hit the spindle, drifted, and just hit the side of the spindle. But the platter, other than being full of filings, seems to be undamaged. That little mark there is from the screwdriver. Uh, so. One could then unbolt these, take out the spindle, get the platters, remount them on another drive. Obviously, this would all happen in a much cleaner environment than I'm working in. But you could potentially retrieve this data. Right, let's see if uh, they did better with this one, where they punched in three, four, four holes. And this one actually looks like it may have gotten into the platter. So let's take this one apart. Okay, so I got all the screws out. And let's see. So cover comes off clean. There's a lot of shavings from the drilling on the other side. This platter looks okay. And let me pop the screws on the spindle. See if there was any damage there. Out of the way. Then the armature can get out of the way. And I can lift a platter. This platter is perfectly good. And there's only one platter here. So, the drilling of a hole here and here did nothing to the platter. This platter, other than being dirty, if its data hasn't been wiped out several times, it would still be recoverable. So, if you're going to want to protect your data when you dispose of your drives, one of the best ways I think to do it is to disassemble the drive. It doesn't take long, and then you shuttle all these together, or you dispose of them in different containers, or you recycle them into a project, whatever. But Drilling holes into this, if somebody really wanted to get into your data, they could because in this case we didn't hit the platter. In the other case we hit the spindle, but the platters are still good. So there are many, there are much better ways of protecting your data. Uh, wiping it out would probably be the best. Disassembling the hard drive in itself and dispersing all the components is another good way of doing it, but dropping it hitting with a hammer, drilling holes into it. It's just way too much effort for not a 100% guarantee that you're going to achieve what you want to do. So, people stop doing this. Now it's time for me to harvest the magnet. Bye.